This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Good evening, uh, Buddy Kunanan, your host, is on a special diplomatic mission in Georgia. So I am your host for this evening, Cecil Guidote Alvarez. And para pong sining gising muli ito, we're going to have a special discussion on the UNESCO celebration of cultural diversity and Development Dialogue, which ushers in the International Arts Education Week throughout the world. And uh, napakaganda po ang ating usapan. Kambal na pagbibigay diin kung paano ang sining and sports ay magkatuwang sa pagbibigay ng uh, pansin sa tinagurian po nating Human Resources Development. That's our topic for today. At uh, we're going to have, of course, first, a very outstanding woman playwright. In fact, uh, the best in our century for writing about social issues and from a, the point of view of a woman. Kanya naman po, Malu Hakob is the Commissioner for Culture and the Arts in the Philippine Commission on Women. So we'll talk first with Malu and we'll find out how this can be twinned with sports development from arts to sports and how it really provides a medium for entrepreneurship, for livelihood, for social responsibility, for good citizenship. So, Malu, you better yeah. greet your fans. Malu has, well, so many plays that have been performed, not just right. here in the Philippines, but uh, globally, and uh, international prize winner for si Malu. So, Malu, give already your greetings, okay. and then we'll start off. Right. Okay, um, greetings to all the viewers of the show, and I'm very happy uh, to be here as a guest. Yeah, well, Buddy Konanan was so sorry he isn't here, uh, but um, this is a, a very interesting topic because now in the United Nations, after having had uh, the 17 Sustainable Development Goals unfolded by the Secretary General Ban Ki-moon himself in the New York headquarters last year in September. Uh, you will see how the cultural ingredient has become a very important factor in uh, the concept of education for all. And um, we're talking about a new play of Malu. She has done uh, so many plays on uh, very relevant issues from street kids to uh, other issues, but more importantly, including reflecting on the dictatorship. Right. <laughs> but uh, this new play of Malu is so relevant to uh, the global effort for seeking peace and justice and reconciliation, but especially on this decade of UNESCO called Cultural Rapprochement. And uh, we're very pleased to announce 
that this celebration of um, International Arts Education Week is culminating with a world premiere broadcast on uh, Radio Balintatao, on DZRH, with a very significant play that Malu has written about uh, the desire for peace or to reflect on the impact of war, especially on women and children. And so uh, we'll be talking about the new play of Malu, which we're inviting you to listen. Uh, it will begin uh, Monday night and all through like a radio novella in order for you to uh, appreciate and empathize with the situation uh, in a conflicted area. Malu. Yeah. Uh, but bago tayo pumunta oh. roon, ano, siguro, I would like to say something mm -hmm. uh, to take this opportunity already because I might not be able to say it. Uh, first, I would like to thank PETA. Mm -hmm. uh, PETA, which is going to celebrate 50th it's 50th year, year yeah. in 2017. Mm -hmm. Because if I recall correctly, I was just 19 going on 20 when I was welcomed by the PETA founder. Uh, it was also starting. And it was here that I started to really grasp the impact of theater mm -hmm. and drama, especially for development mm -hmm. purposes of the human person and of the community. I recall that um, my first play mm -hmm. was, also, was also on the Muslim-Christian conflict. Yeah. Uh, I Dao. Right. Mm -hmm. I Dao, which is the Maranao, for mm -hmm. it hurts. And I recall at 19 or even 20, I could not at first understand how a teleplay, mm -hmm. uh, Timbangan Tagilid, mm -hmm could become Aidao. Mm -hmm. It was it was a play, a teleplay that was based on the burning of Bantay Ora mm -hmm. in the north. Yeah. And it was on uh, supposed to be on in Angtao of the Social Communication okay, Center. Yes. Unfortunately, Marshall Law came mm -hmm. and it got padlocked. Okay. Mm -hmm. But then upon your initiative, uh, you mentioned that perhaps we can transform this into a Muslim Christian Mm -hmm. And I said, how can we possibly do this while we were doing it yeah. no, with Sila Franklin Osorio and all that? Then slowly it dawned on me that the situation up north is mm -hmm. exactly the same as the situation down south about the land problem. Mm -hmm. You will recall Gardi was yeah. so good as the deaf mute bear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I look back to this because this play that we are going to talk about, Batang Mujahideen, which may even be my last play. No, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> because I want to go into some other uh, uh, um, genre. But it kind of, uh, it's a bookend, no? Mm -hmm. uh, at the yeah. beginning, I Dao, and then now in the 21st Batang, century, Batang Mujahideen. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to mention thanking Peta and yourself because in the beginning, I knew absolutely nothing about theater yeah. or drama. And then you came in as my mentor and my teacher. And then Sila Takyang Yu. Yeah. And then Ismochek. And then uh, uh, also from the United States. You know? Well, Ellen. Yes, of course. Benedict. Yes, right. Yeah. And, and yes, and Brooks Jones. You know? yeah. And they all you know, contributed to our mm -hmm. mindset mm -hmm. in, as to how theater can really or should be developed in a country like the Philippines. And so you knew, you know, you knew orientation that was given to not only to myself but to many others. And this is something that I think I should look back to and thank uh, Petra. Well, <laughs> thank you. Uh, because the joy of anybody uh, as a teacher is really the um, glorious celebration of the students as mm -hmm stars in the firmament and uh, truly Marilu is one of our outstanding writers not just in the country but in the Asian region in the International Theatre Institute she already won uh, the play the prize and she's also a sea right uh, winner yes, right. Uh, yeah. Southeast Asia yeah, so. and um, 
Uh, actually, uh, the place she mentioned, yung Aidao, was um, created such an impact that uh, political columnists were uh, commenting. I mean, they got involved. They didn't see theater or the arts merely as entertainment, but saw it as a force for education, a means to uh, recharge conscience, uh, to provide you an anchor in our traditions, as well as, uh, I, I, I'd say, a weapon uh, to fight social ills. Right. So, napakaganda po nitong uh, uh, palabas ni Malu dahil sinasalamin talaga ang nagaganap. And it's not just here in the Philippines, Malu, di ba? The problem of the child warrior yes, right. oh. and how they use, or sometimes when you try to examine the situation, bakit merong mga batang sundalo? Yeah. Yung ano nga eh, yung uh, may isang artikulo, no? uh, writing about the children uh, in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. no? And uh, so it kind of caught my attention and my interest. And so for many years, I was researching this. When I was in NCCA, I was already, it was already in percolating. Yes, mind. right. Oh. And so when we did the, the first um, Moro Artist and Leaders Forum, mm -hmm. and then the, the NCCA um, Artists for Crisis, mm -hmm. it was slowly really percolating. And in fact, in one of the Artists for Crisis workshop in Cotabato, where in the, the children of the, of the refugees of the camp mm -hmm. attended, you know, um, Mr. Murad was so thankful to us, uh -huh. to the group of the NCCA, that he invited us for coffee. <laughs> and yeah, and, uh, and we went to his camp, and we were a little scared, you know, but he was so, you know, very, uh, uh -huh. um, we saw that he, he's an engineer. And we saw how he appreciated the NCCA uh, workshop yeah. and how... He, uh, uh, really cultural caregiving to all sectors, especially right. vulnerable sectors. It's a process for healing, right. therapy, but more than anything else, it's a force for values, education, and understanding. Because the conflict in the South is the absence of cultural right. understanding. Yeah. We will be continuing this cultural diversity and development dialogue, and eventually you will see how from the womb of culture, which includes sports, we will be tying up what can be done, uh, and we'll be talking as well with the football team in Iloilo while we discuss with uh, Malu. So uh, we'll continue with Malu. Uh, in uh, the background of the play, what she hopes to communicate, what it can uh, arouse in all of us, and um, I'm sure it will be a pathway towards peace. We'll be back.